Having a long list of all the classes or interfaces that you need to include into your project can be a little annoying because we basically here in the last example created a calculator which has required six different files to be required. Now say we want to use this um, again and again and again, we could either copy and paste all of this, which would obviously be extremely bad practice because if we needed to change any of these names, uh, it you know wouldn't work very well. We'd have to go back and change each file. Or what we could do is we could copy these and we could put them inside of initial, an, an initialization file. So let's create that now and we'll save this in our root directory as init.php. This is a better solution, but we're still having to maintain a long list of classes and this within a project could easily grow to hundreds of lines long. So instead what we do is we use the SPL autoload register. And this basically allows us, as a class is instantiated, it will look this up and require it in for us. So what we can actually do is we can get rid of all of this because we already know that we're naming our uh, classes and our interface, in this case, to the same class name that we have. So basically, when we instantiate a new calculator, a new adder, subtractor, multiplier, divider, or we implement this operator interface, we know that because the name is the same as the file name, we can autoload these. So we use SPL autoload register, and inside of this, we have a closure. So here, as an argument, we have the class name. So let's just have a look at this. Let's just echo this out and see what happens. Now, we are going to get some errors here, but it doesn't matter. So you can hear, see here the first error is that a ca class calculator can't be found. That's because we're not including it in. But what has happened is our autoload register has within the closure picked up on this class name that's trying to be included and it's output it as we've done here. Now instead of doing that, what we might want to do, well, what we in fact do want to do, is require this in. So we know that our all of our classes are within classes and we're just going to replace the X with the class name that we're trying to include. So as long as the classes that you're trying to include have the same file name, this will just auto load everything in for us so we don't need to maintain that massive long list.